We called this web-based teleoperation software Scout. Chris Bensel, our Scout engineering lead, is here to tell you more about it. With Scout, your team should never have to set foot on a remote or dangerous site to simply get eyes on a situation. Scout lets operators control their fleet of spots from a virtual control room. Teleoperate spot and review data in real time, or follow along on the robot's missions, all from your browser. Spot autonomously docks, undocks, and collects the data you need to perform routine site documentation, asset management, and more. Robust inspection is central to Scout. Simple controls let you hone in on an object of interest, such as to check a gauge or read a meter. Simply drag a rectangle on the screen, and the spot cam will aim and zoom on that area. With spot cam's 30x optical zoom, you'll be able to inspect even the hardest to reach objects. You can view thermal imagery by quickly toggling on spot cam's IR mode. And you can also listen for any anomalies in the environment using spot cam's microphone. Scout can be used to take spot anywhere you would go on your site. Navigate graded floors, tight corridors, obstacles, and stairs, all with ease. You can use a keyboard or a third-party joystick controller to give spot instantaneous commands, like move left, right, forwards, or backwards. With touch to go you can also click on a location in the environment, and Spot will automatically navigate there. This is great for precise navigation over high latency network connections. In addition to teleoperation, Scout lets you kick off pre-recorded auto-walk missions to support repeatable inspection routes with no on-site supervision. You can observe Spot's autonomous execution of the mission while working on other projects, if an anomaly occurs, you can intervene, take over manual control to get a more detailed look if needed, and take steps to resolve any issues before problems become critical. Scout allows Spot to be your eyes and ears on the ground. To test Scout and other Spot capabilities, the Spot development team operates a 24 by 7 unstaffed lab, which we access over VPN. This lab has helped us build and test a number of features focused on robust remote operation. In developing Scout, we made sure that it maintained the same features a user would find while driving Spot with the tablet. For one, Spot has built-in obstacle avoidance. Even if the operator attempts to drive Spot directly into an obstacle, such as a metal pole, Spot will automatically detect the obstacle and walk around it. Obstacle avoidance can be adjusted and decreased for a situation needing tighter clearance, or increased to create a safer, larger cushion. Spot also handles stairs well. By turning on stairs mode, Spot will automatically detect stairs, including open riser graded metal stairs, and walk smoothly up and down them. Operators using Scout can get more situational awareness before descending stairs by looking backwards or by enabling terrain mode, which shows a real-time feed of the 3D geometry around Spot. Spot has a number of advanced mobility settings, which can help with navigating through difficult areas. Operators can choose to adjust Spot speed and have the robot walk slowly when going through tight quarters. They can also adjust the robot's height. To get past overhangs, such as crossbars, operators can have Spot walk in a lower stance to get them through without colliding. Docking is a one-click operation. Operators just need to get Spot close to a dock. Once there, simply click the dock button and Spot takes care of the rest. Spot navigates to an approach point, backs up, and slowly descends to start charging. Although Spot is a remarkably stable robot, 
Occasionally disturbances can happen and the robot can fall over. But there's no need to send someone out in the field in this case. Click self-right and Spot will automatically get itself back in an upright and seated position. Then you can resume normal operations. Spot can also recover if it ends up in a communications dead zone. For example, if Spot walks out of range of a Wi-Fi access point. With auto return, when Spot detects that it has lost a communications link, it will retrace its steps until it starts receiving commands again. Collaboration is built into Scout. Scout supports multiple spots and multiple users on a single server. Although each spot can have only one operator at a time, there can be multiple viewers watching what that spot is doing. For example, if an operator comes across a leak or another problem in their facility, they can send a link to a supervisor who can quickly assess the situation by opening the view mode in their browser. We've also designed Scout to be easy to deploy. Scout runs on an on-site OneU server. The software comes pre-installed, so all you need to do is rack it, power it, and provide network connectivity. There's a web-based administrative console to configure the server's networking, users, and robots it can communicate to. We know information security is important to you, and we're confident the security infrastructure in Scout will meet those needs. Scout can run over a VPN, or you can choose to run Scout in an isolated network with as tight restrictions as you require. The Scout system never needs to connect to the internet. All access to Scout is restricted to authenticated users only, and all data is encrypted in transit and at rest. Just like Spot software, we plan to continue to enhance and improve Scout with regular updates. In upcoming months, you can expect a regular cadence of new feature deployments. For more on how we're enabling you to use Scout, let's go back to Michael. As Chris mentioned, 